going to the 60 all year, I've kind of been battling with a bad start. And so I was a little bit, little bit worried, a little bit nervous, but at the same time, I knew like if I went in there, executed the way I, I know how to, then I'd be all right. Um, in the final, there was the, the guy from Tiffin um, right beside me, and I got out of my drive phase, and I realized through my peripherals that he was right there. And so usually when I get up, I, I relax and I like can cruise through the line, but I got up and saw he was right there, so I panicked a little bit and just started to try to muscle through it. And in doing that, I made it even closer than I wanted it to be. So um, I'm grateful I came out with the, with the win. Like I dipped right at the line and it was 0.01 faster. And I was just like, okay, I just scraped that one through. But I'm happy I was able to pull that one off. With the 200, it was a little bit more mental for me. Um, I was tired from running both the 60 and two the first day, 60 earlier. But I just knew that if I go out there and run, run with the guy on my outside, go with him, he had just won the 400. So I was like, hey, he has a 400 strength. So I have to play to my speed. Um, and so I just kind of had to figure out uh, a game plan in where I can come out on top and not exert too much energy for the 4x4. Four four. It's definitely great to see, that, to see all this happening and like, accomplishing all this. Like, I, I'm, I just can't believe everything that's going on with me. Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I'm still just never satisfied. Like In the 60, everyone asked me, why weren't you smiling at the podium? I was like, I mean, I won, I'm happy, I'm grateful I won, but that wasn't the time I wanted to run. I ran 660, I've done that before. I wanted to go out there and run a time I've never run before. I wanted to go out there and break the NCAA record. So every time I run, I step on there so I can do, be the best that I can be. And I just felt like on the, at the 60 at least, I wasn't the best I could have been. So I was just never satisfied. Um, I'm not done with my collegiate uh, career yet, so I haven't yet accomplished everything that I can possibly accomplish. So um, once, I, once I graduate from school, and I say, I look back and say, I've won this many titles, this, this much All-American, then I can be satisfied with my collegiate career. Uh, long jump, uh, it wasn't really anything new, but going towards um, nationals, it was really difficult because I wasn't able to train as much as I ha have been before. Um, was struggling to get over like 720s. So going into nationals, we decided to rest a lot, um, work on what needed to be done. And when I went there, I, there's a lot of adrenaline because you're competing with everyone fighting for that um, title. I guess the adrenaline and everything, innate um, things just kicked in and I did my best. It was my best series basically ever. So most of them over 750s and there was a little setback during like the preliminaries, but it came out great. He always gets up for the big meets. Um, you know, he put together one of the more impressive series. Um, if it was based on average jump, he would have won the meet. He was the most consistent one there, and that was that was good to see. So we know big things are coming for him. My hopes are a lot bigger right now. The goal is to get to eight meters and beyond that. Um, I trust the program, I trust my coach, I trust everything the trainers here are doing with me. So it's just a matter of time before I stand out. It's tougher to win it when you expect it to. You know, we, we were there in Pittsburgh the first time, he was kind of like the, the, surprise, the surprise, the dark horse. Um, so everybody was shocked that he had won it, you know. Last year in Birmingham, he came in with a little target on his back, but he had never won the 60 and the two. Uh, and you know that he won it last year and this year he came in as the favorite in the 60 and the two he had a huge target on his back that's a lot of pressure it's, it's tough to handle uh, we didn't have the best numbers at at the meet i thought he handled the pressure well and was able to still you know win those races um which is it's tough to do when when you, you are what everybody else is shooting for and everybody else is measuring them, themselves against that pressure sometimes for for an athlete uh, can can make or break you um, and it definitely makes him. I think he thrives off of that and, um, you know, he came in with, with a goal and, and it's a numbers goal, but, you know, we'll take the win, you know. Um, and like I always tell him, records are meant to be broken. You'll be champion forever. You know, nobody can ever take those championships away from you. You never know when they may be, be your last, so it's got to be grateful for all the ones you, you, you are fortunate enough to win and, you know, just keep plugging away.